It turns out that this is how financial analysts summarize and analyze finance properly and richly. I will tell you how to easily analyze finance like the expert. So, watch this video carefully. Yes. Hello. How are you, friend? See you again with me at your side 100% smart. I hope you are always well and happy. Are you looking for a solution to your financial problems? If it's true, you are right to visit this channel. Because here is the place to discuss the world of finance, investment, and business. Get interesting info and tips from the video that I present to you. And I hope it helps you. Like the title of this video suggests, I will try to explain in the title how to analyze the finance of a company. Although this method can also be used to analyze the financial account of the public investors, suppliers, and government agencies. Because all of them that I mentioned definitely need the financial analyst report, which of course has the goal of keeping their financial asset in and out properly. I will explain starting with the notion of financial analyst and its methods, followed by how to do it. So watch this video until it's finished and understand all the content of this video. So you don't fail to understand and you can start learning to apply it. If you don't understand, you can repeat this video until you really understand okay without further ado let's watch the following video the term financial statement analyst is familiar to business people and is of course closely related to accounting but as a businessman do you know and understand financial statement analysis? Analysis can be interpreted as processing, identifying, assessing, studying, and also covering. So, financial statement analysis is the process of identifying, assessing, and covering the financial statement that have been made. The financial reports that are generally analyzed are the income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement, statement of change in capital, and other reports. The benefit of analyzing financial statements is being able to find out various things related to the company's financial health. By analyzing financial reports, the quality of accounting information presented in the form of company financial report can be well known. The analysis of the financial statements made by the company aims to point out changes in the company's financial position for a certain period of time, assessing management performance in the current year. Now what strength and weakness the company already has. Knowing the corrective step that really need to be taken, which of course are related to the financial position and the company's performance. Assist company management in making important decisions. Made as material for consideration for investor in investing in the company. Now the error that might occur in a financial report. There are also several methods that you can use to analyze financial reports, so as number one, horizontal and vertical analysis methods. 
Horizontal analysis is a comparison of financial debt from the last year or the current year with existing financial debt from previous year. This type of analysis is also often known as trend analysis and is often expressed in terms of currency, money, and also percentage. On the other hand, vertical analysis is an analysis that is carried out by comparing the relationship of its existing component with all account in a single financial statement. This analysis can be applied to both profit and loss account by representing the standard header as a percentage of all the annual turnover that the company earns. Number 2. Index Time Series Method The Index Time Series Method is a method that uses financial statement as an index with a selected best year. Generally, the best year assigned or selected will be assigned an index 100. Number 3. Common Sense Method The Common Sense Method is an analytical method that converts financial statement into percentages. Usually, these presentations are closely related to something that is considered important and has a large amount, such as asset on the balance sheet or income in the company's income statement. Number 4. Comparative method In this ratio analysis of financial statements, companies can compare two quantities. The ratios in them will always represent one number in relation to another. This comparative method is carried out by comparing the various features in the current year financial statement with the various figures contained in the previous year financial statement. Well, some of the ratios that are often used in analyzing financial statement are as follows. Liquidity ratio, the company's ability to meet short-term obligation. Solvability ratio, the company's ability to meet all obligation with long term and short term. Profitability ratios, the company's ability to analyze profit for a certain period of time. Activity ratio, the company's ability to analyze its resources. Now I will discuss how to do financial analysis. The first you can understand the company's background. The first thing you have to do is understand the background of the company. You have to understand the business model, the product sold, the sales system, how to record books, and so on. The goal is for you to understand company operation, cash flow, and so on so that it will be easier to calculate and look for result when doing analysis. Number 2. Pay attention to influential factor. The next way is to pay attention to what factor affect the company's financial condition. For example, consider inflation factors, excess, interest rates, a management, reciprocal, and so forth. Also, include our factor of industrial and technological progress. Number 3. Reviewing financial statement. You also have to review the financial report that have been made. Several things can be done, such as determining whether the financial statement are prepared in accordance with financial accounting standard whether the numbers in the financial statement are correct and how the accountant prepares the financial statement. Number 4. Making conclusion. The final step is to draw conclusion from the analysis. Of course, after calculating and analyzing financial ratios, 
you will get result. So draw conclusion according to the calculation and result of the analysis of time. Those are some things about financial statement analysis that you should know. Knowing this can make it easier for you to start a business or manage a company. An example of how to analyze financial statements. Let's say company app has 400 million cash in the current year's balance sheet, compared to 200 million cash in the previous year's balance sheet. Periodic cash in that year can be expressed as two or as much as 200% of the total cash in the previous year. That means the company gets a 100% increase, namely $100 million. In addition financial statement analysis can also be done by examining the relationships in the financial statements. For example, if company ABC gets 200 million in cash and their inventory is 1 billion, then it is included in the total assets of 2 billion in the balance sheet report. In percentage form, the total cash balance of company ABC is 10% of total assets. Meanwhile, the total assets are as much as 50% of the total assets. Okay, did you understand until here? I hope friends understand, yeah? That's my explanation of how to analyze financial statements and creating all this analysis. You need valid financial report so that each analyst result can be reduced and can be properly accounted for. Hopefully, this video will help you do a financial analysis at your workplace or just learn for yourself. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to keep watching the next useful videos on this channel. Bye.